interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. At 11.25 this morning, all local law enforcement agencies had assigned special details to the Kellywood sometime between the hours of 10 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. last evening. With the exception of one witness, who reportedly saw the Hudson car, a 1940 or 1941 black convertible, heading west on Wilshire in Santa Monica. Early 1960s Jewel portable transistor radio, and depending on how much of that intro I was allowed to get in there and how bad I was allowed to cut it, cut it up, it's not really an intro. It's a clip from the 1962 movie Whatever Happened to Baby Jane with Betty Davis. So this model of radio was featured in that movie. 1962 Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. And this radio comes uh, courtesy of Nick, a younger collector, and I covered this in a previous video where Sam saw the radio and instantly recognized it from that movie and found the clip and that's hopefully what I included some of in the beginning of this video. It's sort of hard to get these things past the content ID now but uh, anyway let's get into this radio. I don't think this is the specific radio from the movie but I believe it's a model TR1 and we looked at this, like I said in a previous video, and it is RCA licensed. Ooh. It is incredibly crude looking and simple. And yeah, it does look like a TR1. Isn't that what the Regency was? The TR1? So anyway, it looks like it runs on 9 volts. Probably need to look this up, what an Everetti 246 is. But anyway, he says here, Nick says, um, Jewel Radio works, but is very quiet, jumped capacitors, and it didn't seem to be the problem. So again, from a gift from a younger collector, thank you very much. At some point, I'm going to have a discussion on the younger collectors. But... Uh, I thought since this was noteworthy of a movie that we would dig straight into it here. So let's get it taken apart and look at it. Wow, this is crude. I mean, just compare this to like today's surface mount standards, but um, So what is this, the audio output? So this is real, going to be a real, this is a real city radio. Yeah, maybe down at the beach it'll pick up KNX and KFI, the 50 kilowatt stations, but I would not expect too much from this. So what do we got? We, This is probably our converter, oscillator converter transistor, IF1. Uh, one of these is probably being used as a detector diode and then maybe a driver and then audio output back here and I guess this is the audio output transformer yeah this is this is almost like hard to look at it's so bad by today's standards I mean it's a thing of beauty in a way but I wouldn't expect a whole lot of performance out of this. And yes, an uh, Everetti 246 is just your standard 9 volt. So let's get it powered up and see what we get. Maybe we have silver mica disease in these transformers. It's very possible. So if you look at this one, you can see that two leads are tied together. So this is just being used as a detector diode. And why the long leads? Well, the only thing I can think of is that early germanium transistors were very susceptible to heat. So you always wanted to keep the, the heat of the soldering iron far away from them. But man, it sure is crude as far as like stray capacitance and lossy lead length. I mean, RF circuits, you just, yeah, that's like sort of forbidden. 
in an RF circuit to have. This must be our audio output right here. Get a date code on this. 58 maybe? We got something here dated 58. This might might be 57. S66. S5.65, 5.66. Yeah, I, I guess this is probably the 493rd week of 1957, so that makes sense. And this is the, uh, so I'm going to say this is 1957-58. Look at this capacitor. It's like a three-section electrolytic. And that's not open, that's not bad, really? Oh, there's the audio output transformer. <laughs> this must be the inner stage right here, this yellow box thing. Oh, oh, the mosquito wants to eat my ear. Well, Weird, where's KNX? Isn't it? Yeah, and you just reset the clock with Caleb Williams. I can see that happening if they're that bad. So, the schedule release, what's your takes on it? You have any thoughts? Uh, strength the schedule, I don't believe that matters now. Yeah, I don't, you don't know. It's weird it's not getting KNX. It's very quiet. And it's just getting one station at the very top. And one station at the bottom. Sort of odd behavior. I wonder if the oscillator is not running. I wonder if it's just acting as a TRF set. So if I put my ear up against the speaker, I literally hear this station from here, from here. All the way to there. I mean, it peaks, but okay. So there's a problem here somewhere. Um, it's acting like a TRF set, where it, where yeah, it's it's very interesting. Let's first disconnect it, let it discharge for a minute. 
just check the cap. I'll check the caps with the cap wizard just for the entertainment. But capacitors are not going to cause this. Well, this capacitor is completely open, according to the ESR meter, and all three sections of this are completely open. Now, none of these have any values printed on them. This one over here is okay. That one measures good, but these two, these ceramic ones, are wide open. Now, when he says he jumped them, I wondered. I wonder if jumping one isn't enough. You need all of them. So, let me figure out how to deal with this. I'm not quite sure. I mean, what should we do? Just go with like 10 or 22 microfarads and jump them all? It's kind of kind of odd that there's no numbers printed on this thing but I guess I'm not surprised I wonder if there's a Sam's on this radio that was interesting so this one does make it a little bit louder, but I don't understand this. I look at the way this is wired, and I don't understand what's going on. None of, none of these are connected to positive or negative. Is this, a, is this even an electrolytic capacitor? Couple capacitors. Okay, that's 1.4 volts. Give us your house. It's 1.1. That's 6.7. So this is positive. So they are all common positive. Of touching plates here. There you go, we had a touching plate, they're killing the oscillator. But then it's weird, it still gets this one station through half the... Some really bizarre behavior. 
convicted is speaking out a day after charges were filed against him in Philly in the chokehold killing of Jordan Neely on a New York City subway car. I love my xylazine injection. Take over. Tonight's Powerball is worth $125 million. To Nobody is more full of crap than the Lakers fan base right now. Yeah, I don't... This is like, weird. You know those videos? Okay, so first thing we have to do is deal with this capacitor thing. Um... I'd really like to know the value. I, I hate to put a bunch of new new style capacitors in here. That would just make this thing, not that I really care how something looks, but yeah, that would, you know, it's so vintage to have modern electrolytics in here. Well, here's Jewel. And there is no TR1 here. There's a tin, which is a TSM-49. Uh, I guess I could see if I have that. Um, good question. Well, I can't find any information on this. Um, it's not in Sam's. It's not in Beatman's. Of course, Riders. This looks like it's about a 1956 is when this came out. There's a few of them on the net, but not... There's one on eBay right now for bid, but there was none of them in completed listings. No schematics, nothing on Radio Museum except the radio, no schematics. Maybe I'm just on dumb today and I can't find it, but... Um, so what do we do with this? So this, this thing is cracked, and there's no numbers on it. Um, there's a couple different ways to do this. We can just cut it out and put, I don't know, 310s or 322s in there. I'm not sure. You know, I don't know. I'd like maybe to restuff it. What's the value of this one? 5, 2.2? I mean, we just don't know. The values probably are not critical. It would be nice to know what they are, though, just for that kind of warm, fuzzy feeling to know you put the exact right thing in there. But I don't think that's the only problem. I, but in order to continue diagnosing it, we need to get the um we need to get good electrolytics in it or good capacitors and i i could put three surface mount tantalums inside there well this thing is just cracked all to pieces so what i'm doing is i'm using the capacitor sorting meter that a viewer sent me and i'm going through i have a bunch of these little tantalum military aerospace capacitors and i'm going through these and just sort of hand selecting and looking at the circuit like i'll put a 47 on the emitter bypass maybe i'll put a 4.7 on the avc i'm just kind of looking at the circuit and figuring it out as i go one thing you have to do on old transistor radios and early stuff is look at really look at stuff like this capacitor is three capacitors and they're all common positive. That is not normal. And that's because the ground rail on this is positive because they're PNP transistors. So you always got to be observant because intuitively working on tube stuff and then modern stuff, you would think, well, the outside, all, all of them are common negative, but no. So we have these all in right, and tantalum capacitors don't like to be in reverse. They turn into little firecrackers if you hook them up backwards. 
disappeared into the night. Just days ago, his girlfriend moved back to Arizona saying she couldn't take the lunacy downtown. A flesh-eating zombie drug has been saturating the streets of downtown Los Angeles and elsewhere. It's called Xalazine. It has deadly effects when it's mixed with opioids. Xalazine! This video has a theme. It's called Xalazine. So this is interesting. Okay, we got all the capacitors in there. So we get 570 and then 790. So listen real carefully. So mixing xylazine with fentanyl produces a drug that Narcan, the life-saving thing for uh, fentanyl intoxicated OD people. So doesn't that sound intentional? I mean, that's just the the uh, culling continue. C u l l i n g culling. Or is it 1L? C-U-L-I-N-G. I don't know. Where's my phone? I'm too uneducated. So. C-U-L-L-I-N-G. Here's the definition of culling. Reduction of a wild animal population by selective slaughter. There you go. I, I got that pretty close, didn't I? If, if the hack you have stops working, you have to update the hack to make it start working. All right, speaking of selective, this thing is about as unselective as... it. Maybe it needs some xylazine. That would maybe get the selectivity dialed in. Anyway, it goes from 570... I need to recycle my carbon dioxide. So it goes from 570 the to 790. Right. Yeah. And these properties, you have to have lived in the home for two of the last five years. So it has to be an owner occupied. Working the century off ramp, CHP closing. So, and then it goes to 1070. I would use Sepulveda off the 105. And then there's one station, uh, uh, Spanish station above 1070. So this thing is like missing 70 or 80 percent of the stations. It's just picking up the very strongest and they're super wide, like there's no defined IF to it. So I think the first thing we need to do is put the scope on the um, oscillator and see exactly what the oscillator is doing. Maybe the capacitors are bad in the IF, and we're not getting a defined IF peak. In the Irvine Auto Center, 24 hour traffic center. Selling warm today, beach highs upper 60s, 70s, and 80s in the Northern Valleys. Could see some lower 90s in the valleys. Clear skies tonight. Uh, overnight lows in the uh, mid 50s. Uh, tomorrow, sunshine, 70s. The volume control doesn't is no good too. That's all the way down. Right now, uh, let's see. We're at 88 in San Bernardino, 80 in Riverside, 75. I need my xylazine. All right, let's get a scope on this. You have to use a very low capacitance probe when you do this, and I just clip right onto the tuning capacitor. 
and um, I know this is hard to see the reflections but um, basically all the way at the bottom we're at one megahertz which it's minus 455 is the frequency we're tuning so I'm gonna speed it up let me see if I can there we go is that better so I'm gonna go I'm gonna speed it up to the top here So we're at 2.1.92 at the top. Drug overdoses accounting for a big share of them. Health officials say the number of homeless people who died in LA County shot up by 55% between 2019 and 2021, with the total hitting more than 2,200 in the last year of the study. 37% of those deaths caused by drugs, with fentanyl topping the list. Andy Bales runs the union. Calling C U L L I N G. It's today's phrase that pays. So it's not an oscillator problem. You can see as I tune up and down the band here, um, the oscillator is not the problem. So it's an IF problem. Probably, who knows? A bad capacitor in one of the IF cans, silver mica disease, uh, bad resistor, bad transistor. I don't see how the transistor could cause it. Maybe the, maybe I should check the detector diode. Something is causing. This is where sweep alignment would come in. A real. A, to be able to do a sweep alignment and look at the band pass of this IF. Maybe I'll test the diode here. It's definitely not not a front end problem. So, maybe it'd be better to use the bottom one, because with the bottom one I, I can, yeah, maybe it'd be better to use the bottom one. Now, you know what, hell with it, I'm too damn lazy, so let's see, let's do 40% here or something, frequency 455 kilohertz, let's crank the power up. Now, fine tune. Well, that's pretty damn wide. <laughs> Let's see. Let's knock this down. Can I get out of this? This seems really jacked up.
whatever. I'm going to guess this is supposed to be 455. It is way off. Well, let's try and adjust it. I, I'm thinking more capacitors in the IF transformers. Well, the freaking core is broken in there. Yep, the core is broken. The core is broken in this one. So... Shit. Maybe what we do... Try and tune them both to 540? I don't know. I guess we just have to play with it here. I mean, it doesn't really matter if, if they're both off. Is If they're off 100 kilohertz, it should just shift the dial. Right? But yeah, someone probably went tweaky on this. And this is a weird core. This is a square. This is not a hex. Well, it's much, much better. I mean, you just, yeah. Sometimes you just have to just get in here and break them up. Hope I don't ruin it. 
There's a good chance I will, though. Looks like it's out. I don't know if I destroyed the coil. I might have. Now to try and find one of these. Well, this isn't working too well. I tried to run that other core in here and it just broke the end of the tool off. Are the economy has steered clear of recession. Conference board's latest employment trends index suggested companies will continue to the I don't know, man. next few months, though the pace of hiring could slow. Manpower's Becky Frankowitz says her organization also tracks the job market. She's seeing one possible sign of trouble. Temporary staffing is now in decline, which is often referred to as the canary in the coal mine in terms of going into an economic slowdown. For now, though, employers that struggled to replace workers they cut during the pandemic are largely holding on to their full-time staffers. As for the question of whether the economy will go into recession... I think we may see a recession or a slowdown with a stronger job market than we've seen historically in those times. I'm not sure it will have the free fall that we're all expecting. I'm Bloomberg here from the California Deluxe. If they did, for breakfast that don't miss, Wendy's is that breakfast. All right. Choose Wendy's $3 breakfast deal. Limited time only. You're participating in U.S. Wendy's. So if you request $3 breakfast deal to obtain discount, not valid for other card account combo orders. Check back when you wake up with L.A.'s morning news. Ask your smart speaker to play KNX News. Good afternoon, I'm Chris Seaton's coming up. A well-known former UCLA broadcaster has died. And fentanyl overdoses being behind soaring death statistics involving L.A. County's homeless community. These stories in more in the next 15 minutes. Right now, 2.15, let's get to traffic here again. Manny Pacheco. Well, that sig alert continues in Burbank. Crews trying to clear it for sure. It's just a real pesky problem. 134 east of Buena Vista. We had a tractor on and off the brakes from the 105. We had a pair of new problems to report through Orange County. Westminster 405 north at Westminster Boulevard. A car clipped a U-Haul truck. Both are in the middle lane. The delays begin at Harbor. And on the other side, through Fountain Valley, 405 south at Magnolia, it's a two-car wreck, both along the right shoulder, and it is slow from Beach Boulevard. Okay, this is not, I can't find the right core. This is a weird size, and this is too damn long. Okay, let me Stay see if... Lower 80s for the valley areas as well as into uh, the OC metro areas as we make our way then into the latter portion of the work week, looking maybe for a chance of rain into the eastern San Gabriels by Thursday and Friday, cooler temperatures back into the 70s. With Southern California's oh, most shit. accurate dependable for... All right, let's see if we can get a peak at 455 here. I'm getting kind of burned out on this. Well, you like it with the core out, huh? Oh, don't do this getting stuck crap with me. Well, there's a peak there. Why do you get tight right there? Hmm. 
Why does the peak move with the tuning condenser? That don't seem right. Freaking peak moves with the. What if we short this thing out? Still the same. What do I have to do to get a... I just connect this to here. Well, there's our music station out of Mexico. So this is the best yet. Well, this is the best yet. I don't know. 
So, AM690 is out of Baja, California, Tijuana. 77,000 watts day, 50,000 watts night. They've been playing just like pop music, sort of like grown up adult Disney pop music, like your Aria on a Grande type stuff for the all this year. And they only play commercials at the top of the hour. It's, it's kind of kiddie music, but at least it's music on AM. And this is it, and it's this is about how I would expect this radio to perform. See if I can peek it up a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. That's impressive. All the way down to the East LA interchange. Five northbound, you're tapping brakes from the interchange. Michael Jordan, Michael See how we have a defined peak on the stations now? So now the performance is crap at the top of the band, so I need to play with the, this has an oscillator adjustment, so need to need to align it for both the top and the bottom of the band. Yeah. The calling. See if we can get Mozart, um, LA oldies. Okay, there it is picking up K Mozart. Very, very weak. This is what I would expect from this. This is, I think, performing probably pretty much right. So it appears that at some point in its life, someone aligned, tried to tweak these without a signal generator. That's what it appears happened. And I just don't know how you they want this aligned. It looks like they want you to feed it directly into here instead of just like loosely couple it. Downtown 101 North at Grand the Opera. And it is causing But you know, only having one IF stage, it's not gonna be very good. It's just not. Here's our music station. Let me try and align it right. Hold on. 
much more. Now we're kind of in this place. No clue where I'm going. Um, you know, <laughs> I tend to die. Big difference from where we started, huh? <laughs> it was good. I stayed. I got my uncles staying up on Oh yeah, nothing but the best. This is the kind of music they play. Justin Bieber. So AM 690 Baja California is what this is. Non-stop music, this type of music, pop music, I guess. Um, only station IDs at the top of the hour. 77 kilowatts. It's, uh, and I think it's directional, beamed right up, kind of right up California. Let's ask Mrs. Thing here. 690 AM Baja, California. According to Wikipedia, XEWWAM is a commercial AM radio station licensed to the Rosarito, Tijuana area of Baja, California, Mexico. 77 kilowatts. Make my pussy pop like Coca-Cola. That's what she just said. Oh, they don't censor the... Uh, this, they don't censor, they don't play the radio edits. No radio edits on this station. No, no, no defined peak without the core. I gotta find, I gotta find a core for this thing. Um... I want to keep my core set separate because this is for diagnostic purposes. So I need to come up with a solution for the core and for um, the capacitors and this. I don't know if I care that much, really. I mean, yeah, we resurrected it. Okay, uh, I think I found some cores that'll fit in here. This is a really weird size. This is a more standard size, but it's too big. I have a bunch of these, but I found this. This is out of an old Motorola two-way radio. So I think one of these, well, we'll see here. Let's see if this will fit. Give me, give me, give me. Suing my administration to stop you from getting student debt relief. Same opposition to receive relief loans, I might add, to keep their businesses afloat. It wasn't even like forgiving the loans. They were just going to send people money, right? And, and it was up to them if they wanted to actually spend it on uh, repaying the loan, which you know nobody would. They'd just be going out and buying bling and stupid frivolous crap with it. I want my UBI. Success.
your play of the day. Well, here we go. I need it. Old term. Where's our music station? Doesn't seem like it's working as good as it was with the other core. Yeah, I got to get rid of this because these keep shorting. I stuck this in here to try and keep those from shorting on there. But I did find a bunch of these Illinois capacitors, which are, I mean, they, they look okay, you know. But yeah, it definitely does not have the sensitivity. Do I have to go get that other core to prove that's the, there's a difference in the core? Alright, here's the other core out of the kit. Let's see. It is... No, it's about the same size. Sure as hell, there's a huge difference. Listen how loud that is. Wow, so the core the core material, there must be different different materials for different frequencies. I mean that that thing looks more like steel than this. I I have to admit I didn't know this. You could barely hear the station. I mean, no doubt this is higher frequency stuff here. Okay, oh. Oh shit. It just cracked. Fuck. Well, this is not long enough to get at it from here and try and get the other side to get it out. So I'll have to go get a screwdriver and see if I can get this out. I'm I guess I learned something here that these cores are made out of different material. I wonder how an iron set screw would work. I mean, this is low frequency, right? This is probably, I don't know, 400 megahertz stuff, maybe. I don't know, by the, maybe 150, something like that. Um, ooh, Zell jams. I mean, I guess it's working. The volume control's bad, but. I have to go back because the content ID caught the intro. So I have to go back and start chopping little bits out of that until I get that through content ID. Hopefully I can, because it's a neat clip. Um, so 
I don't know. This might be the end of this video. It might not be. It depends on what happens with this. I could just take this IF transformer out and replace it with a modern Japanese one too. I think. How many? See, I don't have a schematic, so it makes it kind of hard. Well, I think I ruined it. I was trying to get the core in there that cracked out and I believe I broke the coil. So, let's see, I can. So, yep, oops. It happens. I hate to do this, but I'm looking at it and I think it's yellow. Should just be able to put a regular modern second IF first IF transformer in this because if you look at one pin goes here to the oscillator coil one pin goes to the oscillator converter transistor uh, one pin goes to the base of the this pin goes to the base of the first IF and this pin here goes to power so yeah real simple uh, one of these should work just fine and I think he actually included some of these in the box these were actually in the box that uh, he included with the radio so I think we just use the yellow one here and just make it work in there I finished the recap on the jewel radio and um, I can't believe I executed that IF transformer but oh well what a mess it's too bad the volume control is not good. So I'll put it back together and we'll see how it works in the case. Well, I have to admit, since I destroyed this one, I found another one. And they're kind of abundant. You can find these around. So this is the other one. You can see it does not have holes in the top. has the same crappy capacitors, but it works. This one has a, a detector diode instead of a transistor, but it works. It needs to be recapped. And when it comes to pronouns, still uh, make sure that Florida students and teachers will never be forced to declare pronouns in school or be forced to use pronouns. Not oh, winner. Okay, we're doing a comparison test. This is the untouched one. Well, I did parallel some capacitors. Okay, there's K Mozart. Works okay for a four transistor set. Indicates the ability to My music station. The suit alleges the social media network allowed the kingdom to target critics of the kingdom. This pill, Mifepristone, after a Texas judge restricted its access, those restrictions were based on alleged flaws with the FDA approval. Nobody likes moving, but everybody loves previously bro. It's Mark 73, Montclair 70. Real time travel. 
still can. So when hip hop was original. Bring it out, Dick Petro said. This radio works pretty damn good, actually. Maximize your compensation after. What are we going to do about this Laker team? What are we going to do? What are we going to do about game two? Everything's going to be fine. Well, Bellevue and Kensington. This person? And, uh, it's uh, protecting and serving up. on your Arlington Avenue. The right lane is shut. This is the one I destroyed the IF Transformer in. They actually got the game to three points last night. Way to the 91 K. Help sketch you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. It's the marketer's report. There's a music station. Interim Chief Probation Officer says. There's just a lot to love about this. Hey, go out. Night at 11 p.m. Eastern, only on Fox News Channel. That's not the next generation. That real time. Revelation specific. We want to do this as quickly as possible. While at the same time. Yo creo que Chicharito ya lo que debería es de callar. Th this one is better. And I think it's probably the IF Transformer. But this one is quite usable. Um, I don't know. It's been a long video that really kind of went nowhere. Right off the surface of the flat earth into the abyss. Just boom. Dead video. Went nowhere. Just move to the right, one ten north off the ninety one. I just see the number of quote unquote cases that he submitted to laboratories, ensuring their correlation with the expected of disease. As a result of the implementing quarantine, both of these have a similar problem, which is the volume control doesn't turn them all the way down. Maybe that's intentional, but the problem is on a strong station, it's too loud. For over an hour at Arlington, blocking two right lanes. Yeah, I mean, it's weird. Anyway, there's the Jewel radio, and I think I finally manipulated the manipulation good enough to get it through the thingy. Why women aren't outraged, and outraged enough to join forces together to fight against the, the trans male movement, intruding on not only women's sports, but women's spaces. When I say women's spaces, I mean a lingerie company that's, that, that produces lingerie for women let a man uh, pose in female lingerie. The dude did a post where he dressed in, in a thong in and in a little mini thing for lingerie. And they, they're just totally fine. They got a lot of backlash. But, but, but why are they doing it? Adidas. A women's swimsuit. Just think of that one single body swimsuit like a like a swimmer would. Uh, a person like, um, uh, you know, like competitive swimming. They have that one piece. A one piece swimsuit. They didn't even get a a girl. No, they didn't even get a guy that looked like a girl. They got a guy that looked like my little cousin. With, with, with hamburger meat on his chest. And, and, and he, had, he had his... Uh, his Johnson and Johnson hanging out, bulging out his uh, swimsuit. They didn't even get a girl. They didn't get a. They didn't get a. I don't even know if this is a trans person. It looked like a dude in a girl swimsuit. No feminine features. Muhammad Ali jawline. You know, uh, uh, built like Ray Lewis. Nah, he, he a little skinnier than Ray Lewis. Let me see who, who he built like. Built like John Morant. All right, I'm up in the mountains, and uh, we'll test these radios. So we'll compore, compore. Yes, we'll compore four radios up here. We have 
the jewel, the first one uh, that I ruined the IF transformer. I hate when people point in videos and look at me. Then I got the one that I picked up. Then we got a GE here. Then we got a GE world monitor. We've got one station that we can get up here and it's out of the bakersfield fresno area and i'll show it to you on this radio first the is bullpen throws a lot of change up more change ups than fastballs and more fastballs than slides jd fourth among active players and hits in this ballpark with 106. here's the pitch Lynch breaks as that rolls it slowly to the right side. Now on this one, on this one, you can't hear it at all. Nothing. Nothing. You just hiss. Not even if you hold it to your ear. This one, you can barely hear it if you hold it to your ear. It's there. The, the noise from the uh, camera mutes it out. So, like I said, that's a, these are city radios. This is definitely an awesome performer. Let's check out the world monitor. center drifting out and drifting out as the shortstop wanted Franco and he makes the catch in front of the center fielder Jose Siri that was Siri so the world monitor works but this one kicks its ass let me see if I got any more little Soviet so-called no no Selga So that one is one little bit better than the Jewel. Webcore is one little bit better, but it doesn't touch the old GE. I'm really surprised I can't get that music station out of uh, Tijuana right now up here. This is a 77 kilowatt station during the day, and it's pretty much pointed right up California. So it's, uh, what, 690? The GE World Monitor doesn't even have a tuned front, tuned RF stage. It's pretty, uh, pretty bad. You know, usually, I don't know, it's a, it's a cheap knockoff of a Transoceanic, I guess. <laughs> 